This video is sponsored by Helsinki Metal Festival 2023. Hello everybody out there, this is Kai. And Michael. And we are booked for the uh, Helsinki Metal Fest as headliners the on 11th, the... The 11th of August. 11th. After all the cancellations and stuff, we're happy to finally come to your country. Yeah. Come See you there us. then. Yeah. Welcome to Rauda. Metal World is full of mysteries and one of these mysteries is very much encapsulated by bands such as this, Fogos from Spain, with their debut album Corpses and Ashes. The mystery is this one. This album is actually a really good one and yet it is sale of finest one. Okay, I get it. This band is relatively new, uh, founded around 2021 or so, and this is their first album. There are no demos whatsoever, so I guess people would be thinking, well, they don't even have demos out, so what they're essentially doing is putting out an album which probably sounds like a demo. Very, very typical for a lot of bands that totally skip the demo phase. And also, let's put it, be honest about it, let's put it on the table, that is, band coming from Spain, playing black metal, that's a combination that for many people is like, no, it's not going to be good because it's Spanish black metal bands. Now don't get me wrong, there are good Spanish black metal bands, but Spain is not exactly, you know, Norway, Sweden, Finland, German, whatever you have. Not France or Canada or, you know, United States. So I get it. A lot of people probably have prejudice and when you don't have the cool Norwegian or Scandinavian mountains and fjords and forests and lakes and whatever, or lots of snow, it's kind of like no pass. But this is a good one. Now I got this album uh, for review from the band itself. They were like, would I review it? And we had a little bit of discussion about it and I'd like, sure. So even though this is 2022 release here, the physical copy is 2023 and it's just misinformation on Metal Archive on that regard, but who cares? I mean, we really don't. But originally this was released as a digital copy, obviously, and uh, or that's the, at least the uh, information I got to understand. I don't know here, it says digital and uh, CD for 2022, but I got the impression from the band that this was done in 2023. Whatever the release date or year is, that's kind of a beyond the point. What matters is that this album is good. Lasting for about 46 minutes, this one tr features 10 tracks. So kind of a very basic standard release pattern in that sense. 10 songs and some 40 minutes plus on the album. And uh, even the album name, Corpses and Ashes, I mean, it kind of sounds good. But then again, it's nothing like, wow, this is going to be something very mysterious and interesting. Nor the cover image. Well, you have this kind of a, I don't know, to me it reminds me one of those um, hell fairy people. You know, you're just kind of a diet and going to the underworld and this guy is going to take you there. This is my imagination doing that. This could be just some old boomer crossing a river in Spain. Now, jokes and slight negativity aside, this album proved to be a really good one. Unfortunately, this is still a CDR, no lyrics whatsoever, so it kind of looks cheap, even though it's classic over Digipack and all that stuff, but CDR with a very thin booklet doesn't really give you the indication with this kind of a cover that it's going to be something fantastic. Now, maybe not fantastic, but really good. So, what separates this from the great and, you know, the good one, this is very, very good, not exactly great. But the thing here is, this is almost like Spanish version of Marduk. Now, remove Spanish from that and you basically are on the page what is going on here. A lot of aggressiveness, fierce playing, riffs that kind of a stick, or at least are very much like, yeah, this is how it should sound like. So this is very much like taking you back to uh, mid-90s before a lot of bands turned sour, at least in Norway. Maybe Sweden and Finland survived that whole era differently, but then again, Norway reigned the early 90s. This is exactly the kind of a verge point album, like where a lot of Norwegian band like, okay, we're gonna do something else, we're scourge and shit not. Um, focus is kind of focusing on the point of, okay, I'm gonna ship, jump ship from Norway to Sweden and join the guys with Marduk and let's keep the very consistent pace going on 
from already another 30 years and so on. So what I'm saying here is that while the focus is very much like doing the black metal of today, it's very much leaning back to the 1990s, especially the era when Marduk, for example, released album like Heaven Shall Burn, etc. So I'm saying this is very, very traditional second wave sounding album, even though one could make the claim that the production is a little bit more of this day. But it's not like it's overly produced or super clean album in that sense. It's kind of a dirty, but only as much to give it a little bit of a rawness. I wouldn't call it a raw black metal, however, but some roughness, which is just a good thing for this kind of album. All the songs are pretty aggressive, but it's not like it's one trick pony. I mean, this ain't no Pancher Division Marduk. Then again, if it would, this could be even better. This is one of those albums that gonna always divide people into two. Some gonna say, yeah, it's too much one trick pony. And some say, yeah, it's one trick pony, but with a good thing going on. Same thing is about Fogos. I mean, once you hear, hear a song or two, you pretty much know how it's going to end. So there's not too much diversity in terms of like, okay, there is a ballad, there is a slow tempo song, this one is darker, this one is more melancholy. There's none of that stuff. And for some people that might be a problem. But in my opinion, this is very much like stick to your guns, you know. And as such, this is a good album. And I'm definitely kind of a shocked that this is not taken by some proper black metal label already and putting it out. I hope for the next album, this band would get some more wind under its wings, so to say, because this thing is going to fly. So I'm kind of surprised that nobody is speaking of this band. But then again, this is what happens when you have a CDR, no proper promotion and all that stuff. Some of these good albums are just going to go under the radar and people are just going to skip them because of country, because not, you know, being talked about in general and all that stuff. So I hope to make difference. Check out this album. It's really good one. And there's nothing to bitch about, even though maybe not reinventing the wheel thing might be some of that. But I don't know if it matters because this is really ready to challenge a lot of those albums back in the 90s and even early 2000s, which were not exactly original, but because they are so good, I mean, it's worthwhile listening to. So check out Fogos. You will find links provided in the description box. You can hear the whole album. You can listen to it and know that I'm right. All right. Thanks for checking out the review. Click like if you like the review and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so far. See you soon with more reviews coming your way. Bye-bye. Adios.